Welcome to Spirit Knox of Brooklyn Mosaic. So we're moving on. We we left off in Portugal. We're now going to the UK where we have collision with the train. Died age 18, 23, and 23. So it's three people. I'm sorry, age 19, 23, and 23. These people, three, were killed when it is thought they saw an oncoming train and they hid behind a wall so that they would be hidden from sight. In doing this, they put themselves in the path of a train and were struck one by one. Spray paint cans were in close proximity to where their bodies were found. Could you imagine? I can't even imagine that. You go to hide behind a wall and the other person can't even yell and tell you not to come because they've been taken. The other person goes, they're taken. The last person goes, they're taken. I imagine their spirits met up on the other side like, yo, what the just happened? I hope they still create and I hope that what they created is still left as a legacy and I honor and respect these brothers. You know, the more, the, the larger the numbers are, it was more devastating to me for some reason. You know, one person sacrificing their love for what they love to do is one thing. But when you hear about two and three people at the same time, it's almost like were we meant to go together or were we just, were we that close that there was no other way for us to do this? There's no one left to continue that legacy when the crew is taken like that, right? So it's, I don't know, it just hurts a little deeper. Maybe it's just me. Um, we're going to move from the UK because that was in the UK to Australia. September 5th, 2018, collision with the train died. There was no age. A person died when it was speculated that they were spraying a train graffiti and they then moved backwards onto the path of an oncoming train and a collision occurred. We honor you, Australia. United Kingdom, December 4th, 2018, electric shock died at the age of 29. A person was on a railway lines and it was speculated that they were creating graffiti and they were killed after receiving an electric shock from an overhead power line. We honor you, age 29. May 11, 2019, we go into Spain. In Spain, collision with a car died, age 14. A teenager died after having painted graffiti next to a highway. They then traveled across two lanes of the highway and collided with a car. I don't know how a person collides with a car. I know they weren't supposed to be there, but doesn't the car have more control? They are the licensed drivers. I don't understand. Every time they say collided with a train or collided with a car, I'm like, how does a body collide with a motor vehicle or a train? I don't understand how that happens. Wouldn't you say the train collided with them? Even if they were there illegally, the train operator is, control, is in control of this massive thing, right? So even if... The person can't collide with the train. They're not going to do any damage to the train or the car. It's just the opposite. But somehow they want to make the people who are injured, the victims, still sound like it's their fault. Right? You shouldn't have been there. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that. We are responsible for each other. So let's move on because y'all know how I could get. Okay. So we are in the United States right? No, we were in Spain. We're moving to the United States. This one's on my son's birthday, actually, November 15th. Um, the year is 2019 in the U.S. There was a fall. The person died age 28. A 26-year-old, see 26? Looks like 26. Look, y'all know I need to stop. I'm getting a glare from this light and it's messing up my little, let's see what we got. See, it's not 26, it's 28. A 28 year old had been attempting to spray paint graffiti on a building when they fell through a metal awning and was killed. That was in the US. Respect. December, 2019, Germany, collision with the train, died 23. 
A person died after passing after a passing train collided with them. It is speculated that they may not have heard the approaching train while spraying graffiti on a junction box. So we're going to move from Germany to Greece. And in Greece, we have electric shock. That was July 2020. Person is 20 years old. Look at that. July 18th, 2020 in Greece. 20 year old. A person died when they were going across train lines and they were electrocuted. It is speculated they were crossing lines while looking to create graffiti. April 20th of 20, 2022 in the U.S. So we're talking last year. Yeah, April 20th, 2022, U.S. collision with a train died a 28-year-old and a 34-year-old. On an elevated train line in New York City, Pierre Audbert, 28, known as Full One, and Julian Blanc, 34, alias Gibeon, J-I-B-E-O-N-E, Gibeon or J Jibe One, were found dead on Wednesday, April 20th. Their bodies were identified after their passports were discovered nearby. They were found with spray paint cans. Now, what it sounds like is these French graffiti artists had such a love for graffiti, they came to the home of graffiti to do a tag, to be known. And this is where they lost their lives. We honor you, Pierre, and we honor you, Julian. This is my cousin's name, Julian. So Pierre Aubert and Julien Blanc. We honor you. Elias, full one and job one. Bodies were identified after their passports were discovered nearby. They were found with spray paint cans. My brothers, Y'all come to the U.S. to do graffiti and you don't know how the trains work here. So what I'm not, okay, yeah, it was collision with a train and that's what I'm thinking. They were not familiar with the subway system here to know how they were going to do this without assistance. And it's hard to come to another territory and not know the land, right? When you're tagging, it's not like you're going to tell people I'm coming to your side of town to tag because that might not be permitted. You might need special permission. What a way to go. I do hope that these tags were completed. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so sorry to hear this. What an experience to have in the U.S. Maybe you had come many times before. I don't know, but I will be looking for your work. I will be looking for your work. We honor you and we thank you. July 30th, 2023. In the U.S. still, collision with a monorail died age 14. A 14-year-old boy who was spray painting a building was hit and killed by the Seattle Center monorail Sunday night, July 30th. That was this year, y'all. Matter of fact, that was last month, right? Not even a few days ago. Two weeks ago, maybe, right? July 30th of 2023, 14 years old. Woo, that's it, family. We made it through all of the graffiti artists that were injured, lost their lives, that are now ancestors. Injuries and deaths, we made it through. Let me see what else they have. They say there were six people who died creating graffiti on train carriages in New South Wales by 1988. Nine people were seriously injured or died creating graffiti on railway property in South Wales in the 18 months prior to December of 2001. In July of 1988, in the London Underground, there were people who had received electric shocks and burns crossing the 600 volt rails to a tag a wall. In June of 2006 in Los Angeles, there have been taggers getting injured once every couple of months from falls or being clipped by a car. When people have taken photos of newly created graffiti, there have been accidents where deaths have occurred as well. 
In the United States in 1993, a 23-year-old person was on train tracks with a group of people and it's thought that they had spray-painted graffiti on the side of a freight train. The 23-year-old was taking photos of the graffiti when the sound of an approaching train was heard. The 23-year-old began to move across the train tracks and a collision occurred when it, with the train and they died. In Russia, in 2020, a 22-year-old had created graffiti at a train station, climbed up onto a train carriage to take a photo of the graffiti that had completed and they received an electric shock and died. So, I don't know what you all got from this, but there's so much to talk about. Let's unfold everything we're hearing in the next episode. You're always welcome to Spirit Knox for Brooklyn Mosaic.